All right, so um, I wanted to go over the opener here. This is um, Algebra 2, but what we're going to be doing in pre-calc is very similar to um, what you did back in Algebra 2. So we just wanted to do a little bit refresher. So I have the first two problems done, and then I'm going to do the second two problems done with you. So remember, any number in front of the parentheses is going to be either a vertical expansion or compression. Now, anything vertical is a, typically what you would think. So if that's a 2, then it's going to be a vertical expansion. It's getting bigger by 2. Okay, if it's a 1 third like it is here, then that's a vertical compression by a third. Okay, the negative tells us a reflection over the x-axis. The plus 5 at the end tells us up 5, and the minus 3 at the end tells us down 3. Now, anything inside the parentheses is going to be a horizontal expansion or compression or a horizontal shift, and anything with the word horizontal is opposite of what you would think. So a negative 4, we would probably think means left 4, but anything with the x, we think opposite. So if it's a negative 4, it's actually moving right 4, and if it's a positive 1, it's actually moving left 1. Okay, so anything with the y, it's what you would usually think. Anything with the x, you should think opposite. Now remember from Algebra 2, whenever we have numbers inside with our x, it has to be factored. So I can't start figuring out what my um, expansions and compressions, my shifts are, until I factor out this 2 because there can be no number next to the x. So what I mean by that is if I factor out, so I've got negative, I'm going to make these parentheses into brackets, and I'm going to factor out this 2. So this 2 is going to be here, and it's going to turn into x plus 2. Right, if I were to distribute this out, I would have 2x times 4. So I factored out the GCF of 2, right? Factoring out, I divide it. 4 divided by 2 left us with 2. And then I have the plus 1. So now that I have no number next to the x, now I can start figuring out what my expansions and compressions are. Now keep in mind, this is still inside of our parentheses. It's just now a bracket. So everything in here is dealing with x. Anything outside of our brackets is dealing with y. So if there's a negative there, we have a reflection over the x-axis. And the plus 1 tells us up 1 anything inside is dealing with x. So this would be a vertical, excuse me, a horizontal expansion or compression. But with x, we think opposite. So this is a horizontal compression. And it's the um, reciprocal. So 2 over 1 flips to 1 over 2. So it's a horizontal compression by a half. And then the plus 2 tells us left 2, because we think opposite. So this 2 told us compress by a half. This 2 told us left 2. So same thing's going to happen in this problem. Our first step is we need to get this 1 half away from the x. So we have um, 3. And then I'm going to change my parentheses into brackets. And then I'm going to factor this out. So I'm going to factor out the 1 half. So I'm going to take the x, the 1 half away from the x. And then I'm factoring out a 1 half, so I'm dividing by a half. So I'm taking that 2, and I'm dividing it by a half. Well, remember, when we divide fractions, we actually multiply by the reciprocal, which gives us 4. So this is minus 4. Now, I always like to double check that I didn't make a mistake. If I were to mentally um, distribute this back in, 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half times 4 is 2, so I know that I have factored this correctly. Now I can go through. So the 3 is on the outside, so that's a vertical expansion by 3. The minus 4 is on the outside of the parentheses, so that's a down 4. And then anything inside of our parentheses is horizontal. So horizontal now we think opposite with horizontal. So if it's a 1 half, it's really an expansion by, and then flip the 1 half, 2. Right, so this 2 became a 1 half, this 1 half flipped to become 2. And then minus 4 really tells us right 4. Okay, so the reason we're going over this 
is because now we're going to do this exact same stuff, but with sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. But all of this, you're going to have to remember from Algebra 2. So that's just a quick little reminder of how we do our transformations from Algebra 2.